at what point, John, for you, did you come to the realization in your, you know, was it in uh, playing in elementary school, playing for a, a community team, high school? At what point did a light go on in your head that said, you know what, I really want to play in the NBA one day. This is a possibility. What was, was there any particular stage of that for you? It's pretty much day one. Day one? <laughs> the, the, the love for it was triggered right off the bat. But at what point was it while you were playing at University of Miami that you came to the realization, you know, I'm going to have a shot at the league here. I'm going to have a shot at the association. What point was that? My junior year, I was like, all right, like, it's a real, like, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to make it. Right. But I always thought I was going to make it. Okay. Like, I always, like, it wasn't, it was nothing else. There, like, you, go. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and now here we are 12 years later. This is, this is your 12th or 13th season? 12. This is your 12th season in the NBA. Fantastic. What was it like? Uh, I'm going to get to you in a moment. What was it like <laughs> playing so for? Learning something you're learning stuff too, eh? What was it like for you to get to be able to play your first NBA home for the Philadelphia 76ers, your hometown? I mean, that's, that's like someone here worshiping the Leafs growing up, and they end up playing the NHL for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, tell tell us about that. That must have been surreal. Uh, I think it was uh, the opposite. <laughs> uh, I'm done. <laughs> was, Why you want to take over? <laughs> sure. Go ahead. It was uh, it was pretty. Too, I mean, I mean, granted, like, I'd never take it back. Um, I mean, it was a it was a period in time where you know I had to, you know, I grew up a lot. Um, you know, help me become who I am today, help me help me mature and become a man. But you know, Philly can be uh pretty tough. Mm -hmm. Um you said it's a tough place to uh, grow up, it's a tough place to live, it's a tough place to play. So um and I knew that. Mm -hmm. So when I got drafted, though right away you get drafted, you happy, um, you know, everything is great. But when I like sat down and thought about it, it's like, hmm. I don't know if I want this. But yeah. I, I don't know if I want Philly. Because um, I knew what it was coming. Like, I knew what it was. And that that could have been part of my problem because, you know, coming in and not knowing, yeah. you're more open to everything and you're just going you're just playing. But I knew how the fans were. I knew how the media was. And um, I kind of let my, my insecurities play into that. Okay. So it affected me a lot. You know, my family is there. Mm -hmm. That's where I grew up. So... Um, when you're hearing, you know, bad stuff in the media or fans, and you, your whole family is there hearing mm -hmm. the same thing, mm -hmm. it's kind of tough to tough to deal with. Yeah. So that was a, uh, I was there for four years, and it was, it was I mean, I grew out of it. Yeah. Um, like so, I, I wouldn't take it back. And God put me there for a reason, because um, anywhere else would have been. 10 times easier. Do you have any ideas what you would like to be doing after your basketball days are over? Your playing days are over? I don't know. I think about that every day. Yeah? Um, I don't know. I, I would like to, I would like to, you know, to go back to Philly and try to get into you know, politics and stuff like that. Politics? Yeah. All right. There we go. <laughs> Municipal. <laughs> I'm learning so much about this. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to get back to the locker. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.